Hey, you I mean, wondering what? Hey, listen, if I ever have, if I ever get married or have any kind of like a bar mitzvah or something. Oh, by the way, <laughs> I think it's a little late for you to have a bar mitzvah. Married, if I ever got married. Yeah. You guys, would you DJ at my wedding, Josh? I DJ, mean, what kind of shit ask is that? Guys? Dave, I, I don't know. That, what kind of shit? I thought you were going to say, would you be a, a groomsman or be my best man or or say, give a speech? Can you DJ? Why don't I just open the door for people? Would you like that? If, <laughs> uh, what if I took what, yeah, people's what... coats and put them in the upstairs bedroom? How about that? Why don't I do that at your wedding? Do you realize how insulting that was? Yeah. It wasn't <laughs> he didn't mean it. <laughs> I know you meant it well. Yeah, he meant it well. Yeah. yeah, I know. But you just he asked does. me to push push shuffle on an iPod and sit in the corner. That's what you just asked me to do. Yeah, it was funny because the intent was the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, your intent your intent was uh, was one of love and, and caring, but it came out as. Uh, there's gonna be some kind of a aphorism, right? You would think. Am I, I don't know. The aphorism correctly? I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. I'm not. Uh, I'm not a hair guy. Everybody. Welcome to FTS Friends Talk and Shop. This is uh, your host for this episode, Josh. We are on episode 41. Very exciting. I got my two co-hosts with me, Dave and Omar. Omar eating some ice cream right now. Um, but before I go to them, I want to find out <laughs> <laughs> what's so funny. Yes, I am. I am. It's true. Wait a minute. I, I am. I'm pushing back on your episode 41. We're on 42. 42? Is it 42? Yeah, it is oh 42. God. What a major so, mistake. That was a part. big mistake. Up You're front. right. Yep. It's 42. Jeez. Well, I'm not retaking it. You had yeah, weeks to repair. I, 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 I had so much time. Can I actually say something? I'd like to tell you guys, I'm going to take my hat out of the hosting circle. I don't think I'm very good no, at it. No. S- say it really? ain't so. <laughs> it's Wait, hold on. Charmed. Let me try that line again. No, no, Omar, don't do that. No, Please. I don't think I'm hitting Unless it. Unless you guys hitting, insist right. on me doing it, I don't. I don't even know what the metrics are in terms of our, you know, our, our listeners. But I, I can't. Be, I can't imagine I'm, that anyone enjoys me hosting. Anything. I'll tell. You, I'll t- well, th- listen. Let's not jump to conclusions. Maybe, though, maybe although, face to face. Although that's more probably. I'm, a, I'm more of a camera guy. You know. It's probably <laughs> the right conclusion. But let's. Um, why don't we put it out to the listeners? If anyone's out there and wants to. Email because this is a perfect segue, Omar. So we have a promotion going on for Deacon Whiskey. All right. And we were giving away 10 bottles to the first 10 emailers. We have our sixth emailer and our sixth bottle of Deacon Whiskey given away to a Sarah E. Wow. Uh, yes, which we will <laughs> which we will talk about okay. later on in the show. That leaves only four bottles left. So let me remind people also. Um our email address if you want one of those bottles. It's friends at fts.media. Friends at fts.media. And we'd love to hear what your thought is on Omar dropping out as, as a host. So that would be a good way for us to learn more about how to make our show better for you and well, you to I get a bottle shows. of Deacon Whiskey. Yeah, you do. That is sweet, but not too sweet. Kind of <laughs> like pancakes with syrup. <laughs> But no Cyril. <laughs> <That's, laughs> it's kind of like that, but uh, Deacon Whiskey. <laughs> when you just want things to be not that bad, Deacon Whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> so if you want your own bottle of Deacon Whiskey, there are four bottles left. Hit us up on that email address. And uh, by the way, one of our recipients, Jim Y., um, who, by the way, are fantastic email. We're very excited to have Jim Y. as a listener. We need your address jim why where are we sending this bottle of deacon whiskey i know uh, we wrote back to you but we haven't heard back so if you are listening to this episode 42 hit us again let us know where you want that bottle of deacon whiskey sent and then we will ship it your way deacon whiskey tastes like pancakes without the syrup but with a little bit of syrup deacon whiskey (laughs) (laughs) right gotta get that tagline right hey omar one thing that you can take uh solace in is no one has emailed to complain about your hosting so that's true. That. So there's a lack of, of negative feedback, which is good. I just think I have very good self-awareness. Um, 
And this this is this is a way for me to show you guys how good it is. All right. <laughs> so I actually I did it for selfish reasons. By the way, one one I footnote. Hope. Oh, sorry. Please. No, I'm done. Oh, all right. Deacon whiskey, by the way, if you do get a bottle of Deacon whiskey, uh, just a warning here. Uh, please do not mix with Ozempic. De- <laughs> Big oh, risky. Really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, and no. by the way, along those lines, I had a couple buddies that gave me all sorts of shit, Dave, because I completely forgot one of our college friends is taking Ozempic too. Yeah. But the difference is, you lost the weight. You look good. He's still uh, like a round ball. <laughs> this guy, it? yeah, lost no weight, none. He he he, he looks no different whatsoever. He, he he's round in every sense, and uh, I don't know what the hell he's doing with the Ozempic, but it, it ain't kicking in yet. I'm I'm fascinated by this because now I go on Reddit and they look at the subreddit under this medication to hear people's stories. And it's I'm sure that people well, some people will, will write in and say it's not affecting me, but mostly it's it is affecting, you know, their you weight. Go to Reddit? You, yeah, I, I everyone's I will look at that. I'd probably look at Reddit more Isn't than that Instagram where, like, and Q on is or whatever. You can be. <laughs> <laughs> you can have subreddits on everything. Yeah, they're Josh, everywhere. Do you go to- Josh, do you, do you go to those chat rooms? I do not go to Reddit. I'm not a Reddit person. Um, but I, I did. I, who knows, David? Okay. Who knows who you're talking to? These people, they they could be. Who Doesn't knows matter. who's on the other side of those messages? Could well, be killers. Some things, could be. But there's some art. Like I could have a subreddit for the Packers, and it's like really good chat on the Packers. It's just like you know a blog, or it's just a chat room for people to talk about the Packers. But you okay. could do. Like, you know, Top Gun Maverick, the movie, and people could, like, ro- talk about the movie or stuff that, did you know about this? No, I would never but, do that. But, but then Ozempic, they'll, uh, Ozempic probably has moles they, that are probably in fucking Russia, okay, yeah. <laughs> who, are type, who are typing you things about how, whatever, and some they're personalized. They're not real people. Maybe. Maybe. I don't think I've taken any you advice on it. You don't call me about Ozempic, okay? I'm <laughs> talking about But my, you're not taking Ozempic. I can talk about it like I have. <laughs> That makes that's it's worse. The same oh, that's, it's the same difference. It, no, no. It, at least there's an there's a chance the people that he's talking to have taken Ozempic and have experience. Oh, you you me, you just call me yeah. and I'll go to a Reddit and I'll play the character. Okay. <laughs> All right. Do different voices for me. Oh my god. I, I just don't want Dave. I Josh. My uh, point is. Yes. I think Dave. It's clear to Josh. Josh, come on. I mean, writing's on the wall. Dave is clearly lonely. <laughs> That's why he's going to Reddit to like meet friends. Okay. This is the irony. <laughs> no, it's a theory. It's a theory. Yeah, yeah it's a theory. It's, I am lonely. That's true. <laughs> That's it's. I wouldn't have thought that's the symptom of it, but it's true. Yeah, maybe it's all related. Hey, by the way, if you're lonely, reach out for a bottle of Deacon whiskey. Deacon whiskey, a hug in liquid form. Deacon whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> <That's better. laughs> a you should have been in marketing, Josh. <laughs> yeah, I should have. Right? It really was. Yes. All right, so let me. I think we kind of already know, but I want to see how you guys are doing. So, Dave, how, how are you doing right now? I'm good. I'm in Chicago, and I had a weird experience coming into Chicago. Have you guys seen uh, The Walking Dead at all? No, I know the show, but I, I I never watched it. So there's a scene where I think the uh, a sheriff or something has to go into Atlanta while everyone is trying to get out oh, of yeah, Atlanta yeah. because of the, the right. First, yeah, yeah. Well, that was my experience coming into Chicago at around four <laughs> o'clock today. It was the the oh, highway God. coming out of Chicago at four p.m. Central Time was packed, just bumper to bumper, not moving. On the way in, it was like nobody. It was just completely clear Isn't all the crazy? way up to the hotel. And I thought, maybe I should turn the news on. Like, what is happening? Or um, I I am a little nervous, like to walk around Chicago because people keep saying, "Oh, Chicago, a lot of crime going on in Chicago right now," oh. and so um, it depends where you are. I know, and I, I mean, if you're if you're smart, I think. Um, but it's it sounds like even if you're not smart, like it's starting to creep out. Like, you know, just walking from restaurant to hotel, like be a little careful with it. So yeah, yeah. I don't. I think I'd be safe than sorry. So I'm in my hotel. I'm locked down for the evening, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> doing good. I'm down thirty pounds. Nice. Thirty pounds. So. Oh, Zempic. Yeah. Oh, like, oh, 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 Zampic. <laughs> Isn't that the jingle? That's a good jingle. I have no idea. So today <laughs> I had a latte when I woke up. Oh, well, hold on. Dave's not done with telling us how he's doing. I, you just jumped I guess right. I'm done. I guess and I'm as done. the host, I have to then cue you how are you doing. Yeah. You I done, guess. David? I, Dave's, Dave, I mean, do you want to I'll go back to like... my lonely corner. Thank you. <laughs> Dave, why don't you shut the hell up and let's go on to Omar. Omar, Thank how you. are you doing? <laughs> 
Come on. David, I, yeah, I just, you'll be okay, Dave. You'll be okay. Thank At you. least that Lori woman's no longer mayor. Place is safer. Um, I had, oh, the mayor. Yeah. Um, the mayor. I, I know had, what he meant. I, I had a latte for breakfast, and then I had two eggs, three eggs, and a tortilla at around 2.30. And, now, and then I'm, gonna ha- I'm having ice cream right now. And that's going to be dinner. my meal for today. That's yeah. wild. Yeah, it your insides must be. Yeah, just, I don't know what the hell's going on there. What I mean, mean? Well, did you ever see the show My, My Strange Addiction? I've Ooh. heard you talk about it. Yeah, I have, right. What I think is it I, about? It's about strange, strange addictions people have. <laughs> but there are a lot of people with eating so addictions. Popular. And there was like this one dude, he was like 30 years old, and for every meal for the last 20 years, he has nothing but French fries. What nothing but French like? fries. It's sort of like he actually guy. looked, he, he wasn't a big fat mess. That's what you thought, think he would look like. Um, he actually wasn't. But what I'm saying is that there are people with way worse diets. There's a woman who's eating the, the, the shit from her, from her couch cushion. That's what she would constantly yeah. eat, like <clears throat> addicted I want to a, that. I want baby powder. pizza baby for powder, yeah. Um, because I wanted to see if it was possible to get sick of eating pizza. And I lasted, guess how, guess how many days I lasted? Four. David? Pizza pizza has a long staying power. That's the that's the food if I'm stuck on a desert island can only pick one thing, I think, because mm-hmm. you don't get sick of pizza that quick. I um, think you do. I think you could go a week. 31 days. Holy <laughs> shit. Let's get the hell out of here. You had pizza for three well, meals a day. Yeah, to clarify this, this not, please. Not, no, not not necessarily three meals, but well, two, you said every two. meal. You said every meal. Well, I don't. I don't. I don't have. He doesn't breakfast eat three meals. Once. Okay, so in other words, twice twice a day for pizza. thirty-one days, you had pizza. Yep. And by the way, I never, I didn't get sick of it. I had to, I, I I stopped because I gained like nine pounds. Nine? That's amazing. Only nine. I was, was it from, every, I mean, yeah, I was working out every day. Was it from the same shop, or did you mix no. up pizza shops? No, mixed up. Would okay. you get breakfast so at least pizza? That's a little better. That's a little better. Was it all uh, red sauce pizza, or was it like red sauce? I don't. I, I don't really do red sauce. You don't okay. do white you pizza. Did. I like a white no, pizza I, every I, once I in a while. For that. All right, something like a breakfast pizza. That's not the same as a real pizza. No, though. that's not pizza. That's not pizza. That's not pizza. Anyway, all right. Well, that's, that's not good for you though. You're you, yeah, it's not. It's not. And, you got Look, no nutrients for you, okay? I mean, Nothing's David good. took this goddamn Ozempic thing. What the fuck? What's what? worse? Uh, I think uh, pizza every day is worse. <laughs> yeah, I think so, I don't too. know about that. Did you ever see <laughs> Super Size Me with Morgan Spurlock when he ate McDonald's every day? I did, yeah. Yeah, he terrible. almost died. Right. <laughs> yeah. Listen, yes? If you ask Bill Maher, who was more healthy, me or Dave, he would say me. Well. Under Why? One, Why would he Dr. say that? Bill Maher is that because not taking those kinds of medications that screw up. Well, your that's yeah, that, but that's only part of it. He would not. Uh, I don't think Bill Maher would condone you eating uh, ice cream for dinner. Maybe I'll but you know what? Uh, Ozempic right. is for heart, like for diabetics and yeah. uh, high insulin, bad heart. Like it helps. For, it's heart health medicine. It has a side effect of losing weight. Right. And exactly. I did have elevated numbers for my heart, so that was uh, why I'm taking. And your diabetes is gone. <laughs> it's just disappeared. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Well, that's good to hear. Um, moving on to myself, I, I still have shingles, by, by the way, believe it or not. Do you really? I oh do. Gosh. Still have shingles. They still hurt. In you got to let the Super Bowl go. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I thought, um, I'm like, I was feeling better, and I'm like, but I was taking pain meds every day, and I'm thinking, I don't want to take pain meds anymore. Because they're going to screw, they're just going to screw with me. I just know it. You know, they screw with your stomach or the, your intestines or, so I stopped and then it started hurting again. I'm like, what is going on? I still have this. It oh, won't go wow. away. Wow. It, and it's, it's fading on my body, but the, the pain, and the pain is actually better than it used to be, but it still hurts. And I don't know what are we, almost a month later. It's crazy. Is your, is your wife upset? Like, is she tired of hearing about it? <laughs> yes. Yes. Very much so. <laughs> Although she got the, uh, punished for something. I think nah. it's more so that. I think Josh has sinned. Yeah. <laughs> I Leprosy. do. I think, yeah, I think, I think beyond this facade of easygoing guy, there's some dark <laughs> shit there, Dave. There might be. <laughs> That's for another episode. <laughs> Maybe episode 78. I'll, I'll start to reveal I some think dark you're stuff. Something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But she got the shingles vaccine because I encouraged her to. Yeah, and the shingles vaccine put, you know, put her, put her in a bad way. She was oh, really? sick. Oh, yeah. She was sick, and, it, and her body ached, and uh, she had a fever for a couple of days. And I'm like, I felt bad, but 
at the, at the, at the same time, I'm like, this you is. Are- it must be so difficult to be married to you. I'm so bad for her. I just can't imagine this daily madness. David, can you imagine this? I know. What First daily madness? Shingles. I, can't, I care for her. I'm telling her to get the shingles vaccine. If I could only be in the room for when you were encouraging her. I don't want her. Way. Well, I, I would. I don't want to see her go through what I'm going through. It's not pleasant. That's why I told her to get it. So, look, she had three days of shit, but... That's far better than getting shingles. Yeah. And I she, would imagine every time Josh has to go through something, like, <laughs> hey, honey, I've got to get a colonoscopy. She must be like, all right, here we go. Like, it's, it's something yeah, every it's time. A it's, yeah. Probably. That's probably right. I'm having, I'm having surgery. What are you having surgery on? Imminent, imminently. On what? 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 I have a bo- I have a a bone spur, a recurring. And, oh uh, God, right that's out. not surgery. Well, fuck it, isn't, dude. I'm gonna be in a sling for a while. Where's your bone spur? In my elbow, right here. You know what? I think I have that too. <laughs> I swear to God, yeah. does it does it hurt sometimes for no reason when you're just barely pushing on it? Yeah, well, it's got mine's got very bad. Basically, what it is. I think I have that next to your bone. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Um, it, uh, a bone spur is when the tendon calcifies. So it becomes a bone, and then that's why it's, there's such pain. I think I have that. I never knew what it's, it was. I'm like, I, th- I don't have I mean, an x-ray done. If it's, I'm if gonna. it's if you can still operate, uh, if you can still operate your life normally, then don't can do we it. Get, I can can't, we, can I we can't get it? Out. Can we get a um, buy one, get one free? Mm. The little Wait, bogo? Is there uh, surgery done in Puerto Rico? It's a sign of mortality. No, I'll have the x-rays down here, and I'll have it done in Maryland. Maryland. Um, but yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. So, but anyways, I empathize, but I have, uh, actually, <laughs> shit, I have no one to take care of me now. I got to. It's a bone spur in your elbow. <laughs> you don't need a Claire Barton there. Uh, serving Dash you will soup. still deliver your pizza. <laughs> yeah, no, that's the best. That to me is the best part of being like incapacitated is having, you know, a yes, ex- partner to take care of you. Yes, except you're 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 getting a bone spur in your elbow I, I taken to, I out. Get to, I get to ask for things and, and I get the, you know you know what I mean is I'm very like I can be needy. I'm I'm very independent usually. You know? <laughs> anyway. anyway. Anyway, so listen, real, real, before we jump into it, are you guys watching March Madness at all? You watching no. the tournament? Really? A little bit. I, don't I love it. It's fantastic. Well, I ha- okay, I have, I have some thoughts about it, but go ahead. Do you, think, do you think it could, Josh, okay, wait. I have a simple yeah. question for both of you two knuckleheads, okay? Do, do you think, because in my mind, ever since they've, the NBA and the age, is, and I understand why they did it, and I, I think it should have been done. <clears throat> um, do what? As well. When you know when college member college basketball couldn't uh, players couldn't leave until their their oh their yes senior. um up until what ten years ago or something like that maybe? no 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 they pe- pe- they could leave much or much earlier than that it's it's but they didn't really start doing it until like fifteen years ago or something yeah mm-hmm. like Jordan Ralph Jordan stayed for a couple of years right Moses I mean, like, Elton a- Brand Elton Brand left Duke uh, as a sophomore and then, Moses, like, a- Moses really- Malone went right from I high know, school of yeah course, that's an exception periodic people of course but but right. my point is a lot of most people stayed in college yes most people stayed yes that's yeah, right so, then they, they were, started to leave early with brilliant players. yes yes I think it was and more like I think about 30 that, years ago watching that and I the stuff that I watch now I'm like I don't know who any of the players are there's no continuity right. and I, so I there's no question about that that's that's a hundred percent true I I can't I can't deny that. If someone is just a standout freshman, like look at Brandon Miller on Alabama. The kid's amazing. He's the guy who also gave a gun to the guy who gave a gun to, to, to shoot somebody and kill somebody. But putting that aside, that he's, a, he's a hell of a basketball player. He's gone. He's And he'll be a lottery pick, and, and right. you know, he's gone after freshman year. But um, I don't know. My, but it, my look, thought. Yeah. Well, I I've been I watched a few games, and I thought, I don't know if it's because I've been watching the pros more as the mm. Bucks have been playing well. But college basketball, to me, um, and like Omar saying, I don't recognize any of these names anymore because they come and go or, yeah, you know, they yeah. transfer portal to different places. But I feel like the quality of basketball is just down just to feels to me like they're not as good as they used to be. And I don't know if that's like, well, that's old man talking, um, but no, it just feels like the quality the of basketball just, is down. Because the reasons because we, just, reasons discussed, we just, there, just discussed, if you remember back in the 80s, they, there, they, you, there used to be like, especially in the big, when the Big East was the Big East and was the best conference, there were like yeah. two or three NBA players on right. per team. 
right. oh my per God. team. Unbelievable. Yes. I mean, Unbelievable. Think, think of those 90s Duke teams so and, you know. Amazing. Right. So Georgetown, were, St. John. Yes. yes. Yep. That's Claire that's correct. Maryland, Chris yeah. Mullen and, Georgia yeah, Tech. that's. Ralph, yeah. Ralph Samson. Although, yeah, those were those are glorious. But I was even thinking like five years ago. Kenny Anderson. No, nah, not <sighs> five years. I feel like the quality of basketball is Childress. Decent. Well, I, I, I think what I, I think it's it depends on the game you're watching. There are some games that look like like dog shit. Like if you watch that Pitt Iowa State game, I mean, I think that the, the both teams shot like 25 percent from the field. It was ridiculous, and the total score was like 40 something to 40 or 50 whatever. It didn't go high, and it looked it was just a junk game. It was it was garbage. But there's a lot of great games in this tournament. It's really well, been exciting. I think exciting. it's a good game because they're equally matched, but I just don't feel like the quality on either side I hear is, you. is, is I good. Hear. And and I and you're right, it's cuz they, you know, they graduate early, they don't go to college. If you're on if the fifth man on the, you know, on the bench, you go transfer portal someplace else so it's smoothed out. That's so right. These upsets are not upsets anymore. Um, yeah, it's really amazing. But, but I watched uh, Missouri. Missouri was playing oh, yeah. Tennessee. Yeah. Missouri lost to Princeton, but they played Utah State. I yeah. watched that game cuz yeah. I live in Missouri. Yep. And I thought Missouri won, but I was like, Missouri's terrible. Like, they just, they had no shooters. They're not terrible. Uh, I, I thought, I mean, better than I am, certainly, but it's it just seems like the quality of basketball is low. Yeah, yeah I hear you. I hear you. Um, so. But anyway, but the reason I bring it up was because, I, if you remember, I had a segment a long time ago about stupid things in sports. Yeah. Do you yeah. remember that, where I talked yeah, about yeah. The, oh, yeah. the, the baseball managers wearing the uniform? Well, there's a new new stupid thing in sports that I want to bring up that that I what is the new watching so much thing in Mar- sports, Josh. I'm watching so much March Madness, and I'm just I started to realize it's so routine and it's so simple. You don't even see it. You don't see it unless you just click and you go, "Oh my God!" I they do that all the time, and it's so stupid. I don't know why they do that. And this is what it is, and it's in the pros too, by the way. Every free throw. They then ha- high five everybody on the team. Yeah, I know. After yeah. the first free throw, right. and I'm, and I'm like, why do they do that? That looks so. It's so ridiculous. And not only that, they do it make or miss. If right. he misses the free throw, he still high fives everybody. And it's not just the guy, the two guys in the lane that are going for the for the rebound. The guy behind, who's who's right. out, uh, who, who's behind who, who them, started, has to. Who started this? I don't know who started it's been it. Forever. But it's incredibly yeah. stupid. It needs to stop. There's no reason to have high fives after a missed free throw. I've never, the, I don't get why this happens, but every team does it and every player does it, and I, it's I across it college and that's NBA. The thing. Yeah. When did it start? Isn't that crazy though that they that yeah. that that's what's done? Well, the whole free throw thing is just kind of obnoxious. I get if you you have to shoot two shots, one shot, whatever, but hurry it up. Like I feel like <laughs> once you're playing in the game and then you get to a free throw, the whole game stops. It uh, takes uh, like a good minute or two for them to all line up. Says the Giannis fan who well, the so whole reason the, that's the, the one thing yeah. I don't like about Giannis is like shoot the ball. He like takes I, forever. It, he does. And I it just kills the game. But it's, they put a clock on it. They put a clock on it. So now yep. and he got he got he got called for it once. A I number saw, of times. Yeah, a number of times where he just took yep. too long to shoot the free throw and he lost he lost yeah. the free throw. But that's it just they gotta it, change it. It's just it's just silly. What, what are you slapping fives for? You, first of all, you don't slap five uh, every other shot with everybody else. Why are you doing with a free throw, which actually costs the least, of, gives you the least amount of points on top of it? Well, you gotta get back on defense. Can't yeah, be I, sitting. Uh, but yeah, it's it's just the whole the whole thing. Silly. It takes too long. It, sh- it shuts. It slows the game down. It's silly, especially at the end of the game. It's it's anticlimactic because you're just shooting free throws and yeah. So yeah, I that, basketball has a flaw in that way. All right, I agree. Okay. Um, let's get into it. So hey, for those okay. of, oh, just, okay, just, all right, just go right I, in front I, I of me. Just, it up. What did you look up? It's oh, saying, you looked up. Oh, good, good, yeah. good. What did it say? Um, some sources point back to the '90s as the first time that hand slapping after a free throw started really more popular in the sport of basketball. People credit Steve Nash. Steve as the Nash. Who started, who started using the hmm. gesture with his teammates consistently, and since his professional basketball career started in '96, it is likely that the theory started in the '90s is correct. Isn't that He's nuts, though, that it's, it yeah. happens in every level of the game without fail? Yeah. It's, it's just it happens. I don't, I don't get it. So it's, You know, it's called, it's called uh, gesture psychology. Gesture psychology. All right, we learned yeah, something interesting. new. Interesting. Maybe we should it's, incorporate it's, it that. It symbolizes to the player that the team is standing behind them in support. Okay. Well, I, yeah, I, think I can could, see that. I think they kind of know that. Where, whereas you can personalize words of affirmation and a hug is more intimate 
Studies show that the clapping is generally used in a way that encourages camaraderie and shows group support or a hug. Can you imagine like, after, like every free throw, <laughs> after every free throw, the player hugs every each one of his teammates? Uh, <laughs> that would be ridiculous. It's just on the misses. Just on the misses. Just on the misses. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's all. It's all right. It's all right. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, let's get into it. If you are a uh, first time listener uh, here, uh, this is how things go. We each come to the table with a uh, topic. Uh, usually it's something that we've experienced. It could be anything, though, and, and it's something that we want the other two to kind of opine uh, on and get uh, their opinions. But none of us have heard the other's topic ahead of time. And uh, and that's how this podcast works. So I know, Omar, you were saying that you were going to blow us out of the word with your topic. So why don't you kick things off? Okay. What do you got? What do you got for us today? So, do you guys, Josh? You're you're uh, you're Jewish, right, Josh? <laughs> yes, that is correct. <clears throat> so I I heard something um, this Uh-oh. weekend, and I can't believe that it's true. <laughs> um, they said that um, my friend was saying that they met someone who's Jewish. Okay. Who said that if you're Jewish, you cannot go to a strip club by yourself? Is that what? True? How stupid is this? First of all, I can't even imagine that there's a rule like that. If there is a rule, and what do you, what is it? So what it's is not true? I don't listen. That seems so ridiculous, doesn't it? First of all, th- th- yeah. Maybe well, maybe it's in the Torah. It says like, does it say in the, sin, in the Torah that you have to bring it? Yourself? You have to bring at least two buddies. Is that what it says in the Torah? That, that's <laughs> That's the silliest thing I ever heard. Who would say something like that? Is that your topic? That being... Is that your topic? That's no, not your it's topic. Not. Okay, it's all right. Not. It's not. <laughs> but, but, but David, I mean, if you're gonna sin, you should sin in, with, amongst your brothers. Or whatever. You know, maybe that's some shit in the Torah. I don't know. Like, it could be the eleventh commandment: Thou shalt bring yeah. thy neighbor if, to no, the strip no, if, thou, if thou shalt sin. Thou must be bring your with... brothers with you. <laughs> yes. yeah, I don't think that's right. Sure, you sin a okay. lot. Of other people. Okay, so <laughs> are you ready for the news? Yeah, give give us your topic. I am four and a half percent Jewish. What? I'm, I'm a Jew. No, I'm a Jew. No way. Yes. So I'm you telling do, you? You do ancestry.com? Is that where this comes from? Whatever it's called. Let, yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah. So well, no. What so, is it called? Is it twenty three? Well, I thought it was called something else, but it's one of those minutes. things like um, lending tree, whatever the hell it is, right? <laughs> I don't think lending. No, listen, no, no, I'm being, <laughs> I'm being earnest right now. So my father, I got to my father on Saturday, okay. and he said to me that um, uh, his cousin, I'm sorry, his nephew, who's who's my cousin, yeah, uh, did that ancestry thing, right? Okay, okay. And that, we're Jewish. He's like, we're Jewish. Like our family's Jewish. Wow. Mm-hmm. So going back, did you pinpoint? Yeah, so where I'm a it was? Jew. I, yeah, I get I it. Can be, <laughs> did I you can keep be saying it? Are you, are, you, are you doing that just for the jokes? Is that what's happening now? <laughs> it opens up a whole new area for me to go like Jewish. <laughs> it does. It does. So yes, <laughs> I can have the Muslim <laughs> side and the Jewish side. It's yeah. so neat. Listen. Let, let me. T- so are you fighting in in, in your internal uh, self now because you're Muslim and Jewish? You might be the I only feel, one. I enjoy identifying as a Jew more <laughs> than any other. Yeah. Okay, I, slow, I, slow down, Tim Watley. <laughs> hold, hold on a second. Where is the pinpoint? Tell me where in your in your ancestry. My father's grandfather was like half Jewish. Wow. Yeah. Hmm. How about that? Okay. You got you got some blood yeah, in you. You know, and I, so Dave, now you're on the outside looking in, Eric. So I am. I, I, so because was, of white. Christian male in America. Yeah, and I I think I'm so purebred Swedish and Danish. I think I got no hope to join the club. I'm sorry. Straight from Leif Erikson. So do you think I can start now? If I was dating a Jewish, can I tell Jewish women that I'm Jewish? You, you know, um, <laughs> like what? Like what do I get out of this besides the material? Are you well? Okay, so the, the good news is you get material, so that's nice. Yeah, and you like, will. Can, can I say our people? Not yet. Oh my gosh. Yeah. yeah what is that? There's got to be a percent threshold. Yeah. Before think, you can. I don't think you can go there yet. Um, What's the percent threshold? Yeah. Listen. <laughs> what? It's in my book. I'll let you ask you Jewish, by the way. This is so ridiculous. I don't even know where to start. Is it? 
it's it's a little weird. But you're, yeah, okay. Listen, I don't think you're excited for me at all. I think you're I a little excited for you. I'm, it's wonderful. Listen, our numbers are down, so this is very exciting. <laughs> Got another one. Way to oh, go. You think, well, hold on. You think I'm jumping the shark right now? I think you, I, th- I think it's I think it's exciting that you're excited about it. It's very nice. I, I I think what you're trying to look for is an edge now. <laughs> so that might be the that might be yeah. the issue. Yeah, you're yeah. asking what can you do for me. Yes. You yeah. should ask what can I do for for you. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yes. Oh, you make us, we, I should be asking Josh this, like for our tribe. Yeah. For, <laughs> how can you start contributing? You've got a lot of years yeah. that you've fallen okay. behind. Yeah. Okay. What can Josh? What can our, I do for our tribe? <laughs> No, I, <laughs> listen. This is very exciting news. Let me let me think about it and uh, let me talk to the think, Okay, okay. You want to know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna I'm the next the others at our meeting on Wednesday, and then I'm gonna <laughs> back, and then we'll give you the handshake if we all I'm, agree. The next the next ten people I meet who are Jewish. Yes. Okay. I'm gonna ask them. I'm gonna tell them my whole scenario, the whole yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. And I'm gonna ask them what they think if yeah. I can say that I'm Jewish. I think it's and, exciting. Well, you can. You 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 can you have you have a lineage you have some lineage chosen people but, but I mean Erickson mentioned this whole threshold thing what does that even mean now I think he's saying that um, you know, you're, 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 well I forget the question you asked can I tell people I'm Jewish yes right that <laughs> okay George Santos yeah <laughs> I think you're gonna get some confused people first well so my mother will say that uh, we're like five percent uh, gypsy. Which I didn't know that was an actual nationality. Oh, I didn't know that my, either. And that's my, it is. My mother's mom was from um, like Yugoslavia or something, and they were sort of like wanderers or like they gypsies. were gypsies. And gypsy, they, they, they were gypsies. gypsies. We're part gypsies. So can I say I'm a yeah, gypsy? You can. Yeah. Hmm. So well, next time I'm you a gypsy, next yeah, time you take the you can. the census uh, uh, survey, you can you can shade in that gypsy bubble. I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't, I don't remember seeing other. that. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Gypsy. Yeah. I mean, anyway. That's great. Like, I, I noticed I... It's wonderful. I don't know if that's stereotype of gypsy, I guess. I shouldn't get myself... I think I should probably, <laughs> like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go to a synagogue one of these days. Okay, listen, Lee, you might be jumping uh, a little bit ahead here. Yeah. Why don't, you, why don't you go to Katz's Deli first? Let's start there. <laughs> <laughs> get yourself a corned beef on rice. See if you like it. See if it, <laughs> see, see if it takes. If you Baby can hold step. it down. Yeah, baby steps. Exactly. Let's try that. <laughs> no, Let's try that. I, I'm not kidding. That would, that would break it. I can't eat at that place. I, I uh, Well, I, guess I, what? You I, ain't I, Jewish. I'm not Jewish. Really? <laughs> you, ain't, you ain't Jewish. Really? You can't eat a Katz's Deli? That, that's no, like our, that's our Mecca. Actually, it's from my friend, actually, who is Jewish, loves that place. Of course. It's, it's <laughs> wonderful. It's amazing. But hold on. Are you saying that you cannot, if you don't like that place, there's no way that you have Jewish blood? Yeah, I'm 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 going to I'm going to uh say that your 4% is a very weak 4% if you can't get some some hot pastrami down your gullet. You know what? I'm going to try it. I've just never been. I'm going to go try you it. Never no, been. What are you never been. What are you saying? You can't no, eat it then. I've been for years. I'm not a, right. I'm not a pastrami guy. Like I don't want lox or whatever else is there. It's not my thing. I, yeah, but, but you've never had it. it. You didn't you say you never had it? Is that I've what you just said? I'm, I'm sorry. I've never had a sandwich from Cat's Deli, correct? Okay. Well, then then how do you know? And what do I get? Like, what is what the what is? Oh, Katz's Deli is phenomenal. You want to get like? Yeah, uh, do any of this stuff, David? Yeah, Dave's I've been to Katz's. Dave's been to Katz's. Yeah. yeah. Yep. And it's yeah, it's great. It's Although, delicious. I went with my son one time. He gets the front of the line after standing in line for like an hour or something. He gets <laughs> yeah. up and goes, "Can I have a cheeseburger?" And the cheeseburger uh, line is like down. Yeah. I thought it was like the soup Nazi moment. I thought they were gonna That's rip correct. his head off. Yeah. They you are. Know what you're doing at you got to know what you're doing at that place. It, it's awesome. But anyway, yeah. is that your topic? Listen, listen, it's an yeah. institution. So, Isn't it? yeah, is that my topic? That's yeah, my topic. All right, you I, live near there. You, you've never been. You didn't you live near there? Yeah, he did. You lived close enough that you that you should have been to Katz's one or two times. I have never been there intentionally. I'm not. Your Jewishness. Is off. Yeah. Like I don't know. Not, it's not. You see, with my dog, and I'm there with like Lou or Miles. You can't bring a pet in there. Mm. But I stayed across the street a few times, actually recently at the Bowery. Um, yeah. Or not the Bowery, whatever that hotel's called across the street. All right, I'm listen. French. Uh, I just haven't met, but I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Next time I'm in New it. York. So what sandwich should I get? You should get hot pastrami. pastrami. There, that's hot pastrami. Hot pastrami on rye. And it's, if I like, so okay, like, good. I like bacon. I like prosciutto. Okay. There's no prosciutto um, there. 
But what's what what animal is pastrami from? What is that? A cow. Oh, I don't know. Maybe some fancy animal. I never where <laughs> well, a fancy animal. What do you think? It's from an animal? Well, a few of them. Yeah. <laughs> but is you it from a pig, part cow, of the cow, chicken. like like the hind or something? Listen, I don't know where. If it's from the magical part because it's delicious. I don't know what part of the cow it's from. It's a cow. It's is it's, it? Wait, do you like pastrami over bacon, Josh? No, you don't. You, I've never had bacon on pastrami. Listen, bacon no, no, on anything is amazing. The, so let's let's stop right one there. Or the other bacon or pastrami, which wins? Oh, for the rest of my life, I go for, bacon. I go bacon. I yeah. I go bacon. You know, not not for the rest of your life, just for a one time thing. Oh, you if I if, it's, if I'm at the Katz's, I'm not ordering. Any, I'm ordering a hot pastrami on rye every no, time. No, but if you're some, you no, know, I'm saying right now today, put in front of you pastrami or bacon, or well, I just it, not prosciutto I, number one, bacon number two, and then I don't know. But you haven't had pastrami, and you haven't had Katz's pastrami. Is it like pepperoni? No, it's nothing like pepperoni. I, I like pepperoni. Okay, well, that's. One it's thing good. you need to be prepared for is these sandwiches are big. They're huge. And I've seen Josh where I couldn't eat half of one. I'll I take it Josh, down. What you really, take, like Josh? two halves? You it's so good. Higher? I mean, I can't it's, not. It's so it's good. The size I, your head. Yeah, it's the size of your head. I force myself. It's like it's so it's so good, and I get, I eat it so rarely because you can't eat it all. It'll kill you. And it's not good you, for you. What do you get like on the side? Are there French fries? No, I don't get anything on the side. There's nothing. nothing. No much room in his stomach after eating two of these pastrami sandwiches. Nothing. You put. Pastrami on rye with with deli mustard, and that's it. Boom. You know what? Um, you know what? I'm going. I promise you. I'm going when I'm when I'm in New York again, which should be pretty soon. Yeah. Inshallah. Um, I will. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I will. Well, your Jewishness really coming through. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, I will go. I will go there. I will okay. Cats. I would love to go with you if possible. Well, we have to plan a trip together to okay. New York. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. No, but I haven't been to Kansas in a long time. You line either. You got to no. make sure you understand what you're doing. But no. I guess, guys, back to my thing about me about me being a Jew now. Like, <laughs> like, can I? So I can start dating Jewish women, like, actively. Yeah, I think now that uh, you have the card, I think that's uh, acceptable. Yeah, there you go. I should, you know what I had to do? If I do one more thing, it will make it really stick. I'm going to start taking tour lessons. Yeah, don't do that. That's no. not a good do, it's not a, do, it's, that. do that. Do that. <laughs> Last. Here's what I want minutes. you to do. Why don't we start with baby steps? I want you to eat a hot pastrami sandwich, and I'd like you to watch um, Young Frankenstein. Can you do that for me? Actually, that was, that was my <laughs> next question. Is there a movie? Oh, I, you know what? I've never watched Schindler's List. Uh, yeah, well, that's yeah. Okay, yeah. that's yeah. That's that's. Uh, I don't know if that's <laughs> the movie. <laughs> What is? is there a Start movie with Young like... Frank. Watch Young. Fra you ever see Young Frankenstein? <laughs> Start with Young no, Frankenstein. I mean, maybe. It's watch like Watch Blazing but Saddles. Just Mel any Mel Brooks. Right? Any Mel Brooks. Watch that. Which uh, History of the World Part Two is on Hulu. Right? I know, Fantastic. I, I love it. I've watched good. it all. So good. Yeah, it's yeah, very, very funny. Good. Um, it's not as good as the first. It's not as good as the movie. The first one. The first one read, is brilliant. I did it's brilliant. read Victor. I did read Victor Frankel. That was a very good book. Why don't you read the Old Testament? Yeah, yeah. These these are these, he could, yeah. he could benefit from some Old Testament. Reading. Yeah, maybe. I, I I don't I don't know. He's 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 all over the map, Dave. It's very yeah. diff, it's very difficult. I want to start him real small and just work culturally first. But man, yeah. the book's called Man's Search for Meaning. Okay, I'm gonna move on from this topic because it's starting <laughs> to get very uncomfortable. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Congratulations, Mazel yeah. Tov. Yeah, I'm, uh, very, I'm, I'm 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 humbled. Very good. I'm. I'm. I will. Uh, I. I will be your 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 <laughs> new tour guide. <laughs> Dave, what? what? A, Go what ahead. A magical moment. It's a. It. You know what? It it's, is. It's, it's. It's quite magical. We're all so uh, happy. Yes, I threw up in my mouth a little bit, but um, Dave, why don't why don't you go next? What's your all topic? Right. Well, my topic is um, something that happened this week that both of you kind of reached out to me and. Uh, Talk to me about something that's really similar to what you both talked about. You didn't talk to each other, obviously, but you reached out to me. Okay. And uh, and we I tried felt to talk today. Josh and I did, and he cut me off. I had, had a call coming. Day. I had a call well, coming. Neither, neither of you talked to me. You left voicemails for me, but um, uh. and I didn't know what to do about it because when I listened to him, I was like, I was uh. I was flattered in a way, and then um, but then I got uncomfortable when I got the second one. So I thought best 
thing to do here is just to get them out in the open. I'm going to try and play a few on my mic, and hopefully you can hear You're going to play the voicemails? Yeah, I'm going to try. Hopefully you can hear this. So help, <laughs> All right. Hopefully you Interesting. can hear this. All right, ready? So yeah. this one's from Omar. Yeah. So, Josh, be ready for this. This is going to hurt a little bit. So here we go. Yeah, okay. Hey, Dave, I just wanted to leave you a quick message about the podcast. I really think you're amazing at it, and Josh keeps talking over you. I mean, he's funny <laughs> once in a while, but not nearly as much as he thinks. <laughs> Would you be upset if I talked to him? I mean, you're really the star of the show, and we need to feature you more. Let me know what you think. <laughs> all right, so I got that. That doesn't sound like Did Omar at all. That it, that was Omar. I well, heard it, but... All right, so then then I got a voicemail from you, Josh, like right afterwards. You did? Right, right after. It was I don't so see weird. The, I, I thought, I don't... what is going on with this pie? Like, we're just we're falling apart. I don't seem to so, remember so that. Just... So, Omar, this is going to be kind of tough to hear. Let's... So... Here we, here we go. This was Josh's <laughs> voicemail. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Josh, hope you don't mind me leaving you a voicemail this late at night. I just want to talk about the podcast and in particular Omar. He's really been driving me nuts lately. He's never prepared. He's always late. And he's Now that's clearly something I would say, but that's not my voice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right. Mine sounded more like me than Josh's sounded like Josh. Was that AI? Was that AI yes. generated? So I discovered the joy of AI voice cloning. Wow! Uh, I was listening to a podcast and they did it, uh, and it probably if if the audio wasn't through my phone into the headset and you guys hear it, it sounds. It better. actually is a really good. I'll have to play it for you in person. Uh, I got both your voices now for <laughs> anything I want. So you took um, it from the podcast, right? From a podcast I took it from episode? the podcast, right. Yeah, that's a right. good place to take it from. So I have, you know, I only needed like five seconds. That's so to, cool. That if I were to listen to it, if I were to play it to someone just unsuspecting, they would definitely think it's your guys' voices. Um, wow. It's not perfect. And I no. bet you if I had a minute or t five minutes of voice, it probably could get much better. And if you have some, like this was an app I got on my phone. Because I, I only had a little bit of time, so I did it. And it took me to do that 15 minutes to have that happen. Now, what do you do? You, so, type, you type in what you wanted to say? and then Yeah, so I recorded your voice. Time. Recorded your voice. That's yeah. 10 seconds of audio from, yeah. the, from the podcast. Uh -huh. From the podcast, yeah. It, like, saved it, created a, create a voice. And then I typed whatever I wanted, and then it spit it right back out. Oh, my Just God. boom, boom, boom. Oh. That's unbelievable. So my topic is, you That's know. scary. Yes, this, yes. this whole thing. Cause That's here, scary. My immediately think of the dangers of this yes. is someone could easily get my voice now and call my parents and ask them for money. And they would hear my voice. It sounds just like me. Like the scam potential of being able to clone oh, someone's voice. Yes. So, yes. so scary. So part yes. of this is a cautionary tale of be be careful out there. If someone says, I heard you say this and said I wasn't me. Like it's very possible because – and if you search for clone – voice ai clone voice capture whatever it's like you know there are like 10 applications for this thing and there oh my are apps, god apps on your phone all over the place that's so I'm crazy surprised i haven't seen this yet and you're uh, freaking us out right now yeah i'm not happy about this because this is this could be this could be a whole host of of uh problematic things could come from this right yeah oh my god that's a whole nother, whole nother uh, universe of, of problems. Now, I was talking to my wife about it, and I said, you know, when you get a, a phone call from a phone number that you don't recognize, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. and the mind will yeah. have an area code, I, don't, I, don't, I assume it's spam unless it's someone I know. I just wonder if we're going into a, a time when you'll hear someone's voice. You'll just assume it's, it may or may not be them. Like you, just, you can't go by what you recognize. Yeah, yeah. That, I guess that's the good part is that there is still caller ID. Unless there's right. a way to make it seem like it's actually coming from you, that would be the, that would be the scariest thing. Like it, you see your phone rings, Dave, and it's my face or whatever pops up with my number, right. and it's not me. It's some AI bot. That would be the worst of all everything. Well, some, you can clone phone numbers, so at least you could get the phone number to show up, whatever number you want. You get the yeah. voice that you want, but you wouldn't have your picture, right, that maybe you save. Right, so maybe right, that's right. You'd have some kind of password or... You guys are like you. I mean, this is like I feel like this is a Colin, like a Colin McCormick book, you know. Like I don't know who that is. So, 
Is that a real like person? dystopian future. Did he write uh, Super Fudge? <laughs> Who's that author I, you mentioned? Who's the author you mentioned? Colin McCormick? Co- no, no, Cormac, Cormac McCarthy. That's not what you said first. Is that the name you said first? I don't think it is. I screwed it up. Yeah, I don't Cormac, think that's a Cormac, name. Cor- I think it's Cormac, Mc- Cormac McCarthy, I think. <laughs> it's some name like that. Anyway, the, he wrote a book called, called The Road. Okay, yeah. and it's a dystopian yeah. future where like everyone's like perished and dead, and like what are we? Is this, this supposed to be us having nice conversations about about what's going on in the world and happy That's things? It, not nice. It's not. It doesn't have to be nice. David, you said it has to be nice. Out, like we're gonna be. It's gonna. Everyone's gonna die in like Terminator future. No, I that's not what he it. said. It's not what he said. I, w- I did a bit with your voices and everything. That's, yeah, it was meant to be. Funny. We're gonna be fine. Look, we're society's evolving. Okay, maybe we'll all be carrying guns, which is cool by me anyway. <laughs> Things would be cool, you know what I mean? <laughs> Listen, well, this is this is a very scary proposition. You you can't like the fact that someone can just take your voice, Omar, from this podcast and then just use it to to do whatever the hell they want and make it seem like you're telling people off or saying horrible things to other people, and it come it could come back on you. I'm I'm saying that if that ha- if that's when this as this becomes more well known, that it'll be obvious when that's being done, and and there'll be such a high degree of like. I hope yeah, so. It's, it's one of those. It won't matter. It's I hope. I, I, well, I hope you're about. right. Honestly, I'm more worried about David getting shot tonight in Chicago. <laughs> and the, the, of this scenario. He's not leaving his hotel room. He's, he's no, right by I'm a not. window, though. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you don't think these are bulletproof glass? Yeah, I think I think uh, <laughs> I think you guys are. Yeah, no, David, it's okay. All that's that. There's other issues around AI, but for sure that are I think are more even more. I, I don't want s- than this. I don't want someone calling someone else with my I voice. I don't either. I of course I don't either. My point is that will become so diluted it will lose. I hope you're right. Quickly. I hope you're well, right. No, it's. I don't think so. I, this is all out of the bag. I mean, now schools can't assume that kids are writing their own papers because Ch- Chat, Chat GPT. GPT will be able yeah, to yeah, it. yeah. So we, we're we're gonna have to like this is. Like just yeah. like social media, there's a positive and a negative to it. We're gonna yeah, have to adapt. Like, yeah, that's to, a, yeah, we're gonna have to I adapt to, my, to this. Yeah, I talked to my my nephew who's in college, and I go, "Are you using Chat GPT?" Yeah, he, goes, yeah. He, go, he goes, "Yeah." He goes, "Yeah, it's illegal, but you know, you only have to be stupid to not get caught using it." In other words, yeah. if you have any kind of a brain, you can use it and still not get caught. <clears throat> yeah, because you can put in any prompt. And it will come out. And in order to see that prompt, you'd have you order to see what what is written. So if you get a paper from a kid, and you're like, "Is this written on Chat GPT?" You would have to put in that exact prompt to get that paper again. You don't know what prompt they put in. Yeah. And le- no, unless you- unless it's the prompt, the <laughs> word for word, what the professor un- gave them. Un- un- it's un- amazing. Un- yeah, it's absolutely well, amazing. You know what's going to be? It's going to be people have to take tests in in a classroom with with no computers. Yeah, that's what's happening. They're t- having to write their papers yeah. in class. Yeah. Yeah. Or yeah. I think you just say, look, maybe writing is no longer a skill that we put as much emphasis on. Like that, that sounds ridiculous on the it surface does. of it because it it's does. like reading. Yeah. And but you know, you, there's been some questions that like, do you need to know your multiplication tables when you've got you got calculators? Your, That's right. It's so, so silly. Yeah, it's kind of the same. Th- I think it's very yeah, similar. yeah. There are different ways to train your brain how to operate. I mean, David's never been good at math. <laughs> That's not true. I know. I, I got to say one minor. thing. He never knows. He never knows how to go above ten percent when he's tipping people. That's for sure. Jeez. That's untrue as well. That's uh, listen. I'm not the cheap one of tipping. That's don't attack me. Oh my listen, I god! Feel, I feel like I'm being discriminated against all the Jewish people on this. Yes, that's, yeah. <laughs> that's right. You guys are getting up on me now. Omar, uh, uh, next episode, Omar will be the host. Shalom, everybody. <laughs> Come to episode 43. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god! All right, oh. that's yeah. That's uh, I'm you know, thankfully though. Thankfully, though, it didn't sound – I don't think it sounded like me. Well, it's, again, David – I agree with David, though. It's through the microphone, so I'm sure it's diving Yeah, up. It's, I'm going to try it's, it. It sounds try more it like you own. than any other voice I know. I mean, it is it, – if, if I played it for anyone that knows you, Josh, they would They, would, they would think it's me? I, I guarantee it. Okay. But right. it, if they said, does it sound exactly like him? It would, but, again, I didn't have any – like there's programs where you can like work with the you have sliders and things where you can make oh, the tone you can, a little bit yeah, so yeah. you can really work it. I just yeah. did it. It just took seconds to, to create. That's 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 scary. It's cool, but it's scary at the same time. Yeah. Well, think of the jokes you can use though. Oh what my god. What do you god. think? What do you oh, think yeah. is uh? What do you think is scarier? Okay, this or <laughs> dancing in the town of Footloose. 
<laughs> what? Yeah. Do you think the do you think the residents of Footloose were more scared of dancing or compared to how you guys are of this new AI technology? Okay. Ooh, okay. <laughs> that is that that question is so. Uh, <laughs> I'm Those revoking. I'm, rev- things. I'm revoking your Judaism. No, because <laughs> my point is, when people started dancing in the town of Fulton, yes, I get it. Not big of a deal. Oh, I, I yes. think this will be the same thing. Yes, except for the fact that we know dancing is not a big deal, and th- and you can be in a look. You could be in a. You can it'd be an imposter, it, especially for public figures. This is scary. Yeah. Well, it's already been in the news. Wasn't there Biden? Uh, someone impersonated Biden's voice, and he said he was implementing the draft. And the people like oh, right. for a second. Yeah, yeah, so there yeah. has been some stories yeah. where this is popping up, but um, I don't. Oh. Know, I think it's a cool new world. Like, yes, the scams are going to be terrible, but some of the jokes and pranks you could do is going to be amazing. Ah, there's so. going to be a positive side, no question, no question. <laughs> Ooh, oh, I have God. a good idea. Okay, we all commit right now. Okay, to doing to... a prank on somebody in the next month or two. Oh, I'll any do prank? A prank on somebody? I don't. I. I'm not very good at doing pranks, like actually thought out like <laughs> multiple steps. In person, I'm I'm wicked, right? Wicked smart and funny. But yeah, like oh, yes, pranks, of course. my thing. Yeah. But I wanted to do a prank. Josh, you Dave, you Josh guys have both done it. pranks. I've done many yeah, a prank. Yeah. I've done many a prank. Yeah. Dave, yeah. You do too, right, Josh? Dave? Yeah, yeah. I've I've done a fair amount of pranks, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. We're good with pranks. All right. Thanks. I would love that. Great tangent. Commit, Great tangent, Omar. But that? let's not prank each other. Yeah, let's not that. do that. Okay, that's fine. That's but commit right, to will, doing that? We will commit to doing that. Yes. Is All that right. what you want? I, I'm going to do that just to move on from this segment. <laughs> yes. <that's fine>. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let me give you my topic real quick. And this is this is a relatively quick one. But so um, watching TV, uh, promo comes on. By the way, this is what pissed me off. You know, do you guys have auto fast forward where it fast forward, right? You just push the, the fast forward button. No, we, and I goes, used to. I missed no, Josh, that so much. We don't, we don't, Dave and I don't live in the future. Uh, no, no, we don't, we don't know how. <laughs> no, that's actually old. Do you have a TiVo? No, it's not TiVo, but it's it's my cable company. Is, it, as soon as like I have like a, <laughs> on my DVR, I could push fast forward and let it let go, drop the remote, and it will stop when the program starts again. Yeah, wow. It that, goes right I through the commercial. I used to have that on like an old TiVo. It automatically skipped the commercial. Yes, right. yes. I don't yes. have that. So I so I have that, and what I noticed was they changed it, and now it stops before. A promo for a show on that channel. It mm. stops prematurely. I'm like, oh, you got to be kidding me. First, I was annoyed. I'm like, why did it stop there? It doesn't make sense. And now I'm realizing, oh my God, they reprogrammed the damn thing. So now you have to watch the promotion for another show on the same channel, which is annoying. And you can't get through it either, by the way. Yeah. But anyway, so one of the promotions wow. I saw was for the, Con- you know, that show, The Connors, it's the old Roseanne show. Are that, you watching that- this with your with your wife? <laughs> You know, can I get through this topic? It, it, my, my, my topic He's is so fascinated by your has, wife. N- has nothing to do with my wife or whether I'm watching it with her or whatever. I'm just telling you what, what, I'm, what I'm seeing, and then you can comment on that. Is that fair? Okay. My brother? That sounds good to me. <laughs> yes. Okay, listen. Uh, this is what we say, uh, Omar, uh, in Hebrew school. Sheket pavaka Do you know what that means? <laughs> no. I mean, shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> sort of sounded like it. That's what my Hebrew school teacher used to say all the time. That's the only thing I learned. That's it. That's it. So I'm watching the promo for the Connors, which is Rose. You remember Roseanne and that show that was in the in oh, 90s. Oh, that's the show without her, right? He yes, yes, something. yes. So it's been rebooted now because she said something and she got canceled. And now they just do the show without her, and it's called the Connors. And the reason I'm bringing this up because I'm watching it. I'm like, oh my god, is that John Goodman? Have you seen John Goodman lately? Is he even skinnier? Yes. He is oh, really? bone thin. And I started thinking, like, he looks weird. He looked he looked very strange. It wasn't like, wow, good for him. He lost a lot of weight. He looks great. He looked weird. And then I started to think about it. And then I started to talk to my wife, Omar, so now you can start paying attention again because I'm going to bring her into the mix. And I started to say, doesn't John Goodman look weird? And she said, yeah, he does look weird. And then – so here's my my topic. I think there are some people who look better fatter. Mm. They look better fat than they do thin. And so I've, I've listed a few here, and I want your opinion on it. So John Goodman, to me, looks very strange. Okay. Al Roker, you know Al Roker, right, the weatherman oh, yeah. on the Today Show? He yep. lost a, a ton of weight. He looks weird. Yep. Jonah Hill, 
the great uh, co- comedic actor Jonah Hill, um, okay. also a drama actor, but he he he's lost a lot of weight. I don't think he looks better. I think he was better, fatter. Uh, Randy Jackson, remember him from American oh, yeah. Idol, the judge. Sure. Big dog. No, not Randy. The, the Randy Jackson used to be uh, in Journey. You know Randy Jackson, dog, that guy, American Idol. Oh, glasses. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He looks weird. Kevin Smith, that director of uh, mm. Clerks and Mallrats and all that, he lost. He looks. Drew Carey. Remember Drew Carey? Oh yeah, yeah, Drew Carey looks. Yeah, weird. He looks weird. Yeah. Z- Zach Galifianakis. Have you seen Zach Galifianakis lately? He lost a ton of weight. He looks mm. weird. And then, so I'm, I'm making this list. So that's the first thing I want. I want your t- I want your take on that first. So keep that, bank that, put a pin in that. Then I started to think, wait a second, all the people I'm naming are dudes. They're all men. And I, so I asked myself, like, am I sexist that, that no women look better or fatter? Is that wrong? And then she said, well, what about, like, Adele? I'm like, no, Adele looks better now. And mm. she, she gave a couple more, like Rebel Wilson. I'm like, no, she kind of looks better now. So I, number one, a, a, am I sexist? That, that's the first thing. Or can you think of women that I think are look better, fatter than they do after losing the weight? And then the other Oprah. part of this, no, she looked better, thinner. Do you think? Yeah, maybe you make might you might make an argument for Oprah. Oh, uh, that's a good one, isn't it? I, and so then I thought, what makes all these guys weird looking now that they've lost weight? And I I pinpointed that. So I'm not going to reveal that yet. I want to hear your opinion on those things first, and then what do you think? That I figured out as to why they look weird. Go. I guess. I guess I can go since Omar has left. <laughs> yeah, the, Omar uh, left call. the room. Yes. So I guess if if men have lost weight to the point where they look gaunt, yeah, then that's that's different than losing weight, right? That's like yes. maybe going past I the point that of word, what. Gaunt. Right. Yeah. Where you just like you look <laughs> shallow in your face, word. right? Yes. And so it's not a healthy look. So I guess there have been times where I see someone and go, they looked. Not better, fatter. It's just they looked healthier, like with more ah, weight because yes. they went too far. But that's better, isn't that better? You look healthier. I guess so. better. Looks nothing like himself. Who? But you know, you. Who did you say? Goodman. John Goodman. See, you see it. He looks weird. I have to look it up. But anyway. sometimes I think it's maybe they're a normal weight, but you know, after you have all that weight on, after you lose it, like your your body then kind of has all this excess skin, right? Or it, like it, it doesn't. But they get that removed. These people, they all get that removed. They have the extra yeah, skin surgery. So. Yeah, they do. So it's not like he's hanging. He's not having a turkey neck hanging down. He he is yeah. his, his neck is trim, but he looks weird. Wait, so do you I think he have surgery for that? Of course, you can have surgery. Do you ever watch no, no, my? No, no. What? I'm saying, do you think like Zach Gal- Galifianakis, whoever? He wasn't that morbidly obese. You have to really be morbidly obese to lose a lot of weight and have a, a hanging skin. Because skin is somewhat elastic, but if you watch like my six hundred pound life, which I, which for some, some reason I love, um, <laughs> once they lose all that weight, that skin just hangs. That does not snap back because they got too big. But if you're Zach Galifianakis and you and you get to like two fifty and you go back to one eighty, you know one seventy, whatever, it, you don't have to have skin surgery. That's uh, elastic skin. Do you, Dave, do you see John Goodman? Did you look him I up? I do. Yeah. I what do, do you think? It, yeah, he well, he's older too, so it might be yeah, him. Thing. Is you, you know, have to factor that in. True, true, right. true, true. Good point. So he definitely looks older, and and his gauntness makes him look more wrinkled. So yeah, yeah. That's Probably, uh, do you guys do you see that movie? Uh, what's it called? With um, with uh, Zach, um, Jack Black, Jack Black, Jude Law, Cameron Diaz, and um, oh, um, that Christmas from, movie. Yeah, the woman from Titanic. Yeah, what's it called? Kate Winslet. Yeah, it's like Christmas. Uh, it's a Christmas uh, love story. Where are you going with this? Yeah. Anyway, why was Jack Black ca- cast in a romantic movie? Yeah, he's you, so unattractive. Yeah, how he's, is he? He's funny. What the hell? He's he's funny. I don't understand how he's a leading man. I don't get how that happened. That made no sense. In you fact, think I know he's funny though, Josh. I do. I, I think he's a very talented musician. He's very funny. He's very funny. You ever see really? School Rock? You ever never saw School yeah, Rock? Yeah, he's talented. I yeah, he's dude for me. He's hilarious. He can, he's a musician. Dave? Yeah, he's well. I don't think he's like a traditional leading man. But there are a lot of no. actors who I don't you think, think Kevin like Hart's Ad- funny. Yeah, Kevin Hart's very funny. I don't think Kevin Hart's funny. I don't. Think I don't think Adam Driver it's, is a, a leading it's, man. It's Jay Leno humor. Adam Driver's Adam not funny Driver. at all. No. <laughs> you jumped you uh, topics on me. Adam, you say he's not what. Well, you were talking about how why is Jack Black a leading man? I said yeah. Adam Driver. 
I he, oh. I ha- he's not like he has his the parts that he has, like he's not as a good looking of a guy too. He's a, he's a he's a he's a presence though. He's a presence, he? dude. He's yeah, he's a, a presence. He's a good actor. He's a I just actor. if you yeah, saw him he's on the street, if he wasn't famous. I don't think you'd be like, ooh, there's a movie star. I don't know about that. Mm, really? yeah, no, he's a he's face. a he's a big dude. He's he's, well, a, he's a listener. I take it back. Yeah, yeah. yeah I don't know if he's listening or not. But we, <laughs> get, get back to my topic here. Um, oh, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> I wanted so to skip the women. Shallow, I let Omar. Shallow Hal. Yeah, Shallow Hal. But but Shallow Hal was a I, comedy. I know, like, that was a comedy. But I. Yeah. <laughs> and was was Gwyneth more attractive when she was her inner self or her outer self? No, come on, stop. Yeah. Is there, are there any women you can put in this category? I named a bunch of dudes. Are there any women you can put in this category? Oprah. That's, Oprah's a, Oprah's not a bad uh, not a bad uh, um, uh, person for this, but I still think she looked better thinner. Any like any grandmother? <laughs> that's not that's not. Well, a, that's the same problem. They get if they get older. Uh, let's see. The only one that I can think of is the uh, is the woman on Honey Boo Boo. Remember the mother, Mama <laughs> June. <laughs> Honey Boo Boo. You never Who's saw that? Honey Boo. It's a reality show. It's just, it's a horribly stupid. But there, I never really watched it. But I know I've seen a couple episodes. But there, the 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 mother is Mama June, and oh, yeah. uh, and she lost a ton of weight and she looks weird. That would be the only one I could think of. But that's that's really a I poor think, example. I, I liked Adele when she was bigger. No, Adele looks good now. Not yeah. not that she was. I, yeah, she she's good now. But I liked her yeah. better when she was. But bigger. she doesn't look weirder now. Is my point. I mean, there's no women I can point to that that look weirder now now that they've lost weight versus before. And by the yeah, way, let I'm me. Not gonna, this is yeah. I let agree. Me, she looks let great. me come back to the to the everyone I named. What do you think the one thing I finally figured it out? I put my finger on it. They're rich. What? No, no, no. What's the one thing that makes them look weirder? That makes each of them look weirder. Yeah, they have a common trait, and I think it's why that they look weirder skinny than fat. I am. I think I know what you're gonna say. What is the common trait? Yeah, he's pointing to his head. Everybody, big head effect. I call it the big head effect. Oh. If you got a big melon, like like uh, like John Goodman's got a big melon, you can't shrink your body because that melon's still big, and now it looks like he's like a walking candy apple. That's what it looks like. It but, looks like. But he's isn't a, that what he would have? Isn't that what he would have always looked like when he was younger? It, his head side hasn't gotten bigger. What are you, what are you talking about? My no, no, is, no. He was fat. He was a fat dude. So it, yes, it, but his head was the same size. Right, but it was time. more in proportion. When, I know. When, My when, point is, if he was skinny when he was younger, he would look really weird. No, maybe his head was smaller. What? Does your brain increase after you're 25 or 30 years old? The brain, your the size of your brain. Your you skull know, your does. Skull? Your skull, of course, your skull no, increases. No, it doesn't. David, you think you think you, you think you have the same size skull now as you did as a toddler? No, uh, Barry Bonds skull like, grew. Sorry, 30, <laughs> Barry yeah. Bonds did. Yeah. Well, what yes, thirty. Saying? Yes, of course. That's not what we're talking about. No, I'm saying John Goodman at thirty would look oh, better big than if he did if he was skinny because his head was really big. So it was the optimal look for him being overweight. That's my point. That's my point. He looks better, fatter because of the big head effect. But, but it, maybe that's why he was fatter. Because he, he knew that was no. That's not why he was fatter. He was fatter because he had pizza every day for thirty-one days, <laughs> <laughs> and then ice cream for for dinner. I've just like, gone through thirty different women who okay. What do you uh, think? Famous babe? women who have lost a lot of okay, weight. Okay. What do you think? And they show the before and after. Um, so far, not think, one. Uh, not mm, one. I can't. Not one. No. Not one. I can't find. I guess Drew Barrymore, maybe. I mean, she was like, she was maybe a little she bit. Was, like, she wasn't she was, fat though. She wasn't fat. I'm talking uh, like John was Goodman was fat. I wasn't calling her fat. I was, yeah. But John, I, John, John Goodman Roseanne was. Bar. <sighs> I, I haven't seen a picture of her skinny. Is she skinny now? Well, is Roseanne Barr skinny now? Well, it's Snooky. 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 <laughs> she wasn't fat to begin with. I'm not saying they're fat. I'm just giving you the list. Well, there are uh, people who are one fat. Guy that was in uh, Lost. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, that's a guy. We're trying to figure out a woman. How about Melissa oh. McCarthy? She's she's not skinny. Well, she's skinnier now. Apparently. Yeah, but she looks they, better. She looks great. better. She looks better. Yeah, she lost seventy five pounds. She looks, she, she looks better. She looks better. Anyway, uh, I th- I think yeah. I don't think right? I have a way of refuting your point. Thank you. But. I hope uh, no one gets mad after hearing this segment at me. Yeah, <laughs> Listen, exactly I, all, all I'm saying is 
they shouldn't get mad because it's just it's it's unfortunately we've done the research and it's a it's a reality and uh, there's a white paper was out that, now. Was Brendan <laughs> Fraser was that his real body? Yeah, that was his real body. He gained all that weight for that movie. No, 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 no. I serious? heard that they also enhanced. He gained a lot of weight, but then they also enhanced his. Oh, uh, really? Wearing. Yeah. Is that I right? Think, yeah, I think that's right. Do you think he showed up to the scene and they're like, uh, Brendan, we could have put you just in a fat suit? He went, <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> I wonder, like, yeah, that must be. Josh, did you watch that movie? Which the whale? Now I haven't yeah. seen it. I haven't seen it. Not, now that is ironic, right, David? Why? That, Why? That it's called the Josh whale. Josh loves my inner upon life and whatever. whatever oh, life right, and, yeah. And, and he visits that. And watch that. That's true. That, that seems like that well, was it's not reality TV. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, it's, but it's, still, it's, but it's, yeah. Six hundred pound life, by the way, not eight hundred. That's crazy. What's the What's the <laughs> twins? The sisters. What what are you talking about? Four hundred pound sisters or something? Was oh it? no, thousand pound sisters. <laughs> I love thousand pound sisters. Yeah, you are you you are uh, phenomenal. You're obsessed, show. You're obsessed I feel with so this bad topic. For your life. It's such a good show. Thousand, oh, she loves thousand pound sisters too. Don't let it. Don't let you fool her. Don't yeah. let her fool you. Has she, she? Do you drag her into these kinds of shows, or does she drag you? Into here's how it goes. Oh yes, new thousand pound sisters. Uh, I don't really want to watch that again. Then I put it on. Then she's into it. See what I'm saying? Yeah. That's the routine. Okay. That's so you how drag it goes. her into this. Well, so what would she? It's not like, much what... dragging. She goes in very willingly. <laughs> but like, but does she ever bring up a show? She's like, hey, so and so is coming on. Let's watch. Of course, it. yeah, we watch it. And what? And what are those typically? Are these like same kind of theme, or are they? Maybe. Nah, it could be anything. Different. It could be anything. Yeah, it could be anything. I think uh, I can't remember what you wanted to watch last time. Maybe The Last of Us, which is a great show on HBO. Oh yeah, I like that very much. <clears throat> it's fantastic. So dark. maybe dark, dark, but very good, very good, very good. Anyway, yeah. all right, guys. Well, hey, listen, we're probably let... all in trouble. This episode, we've offended many, many people. I we think. have. I think I'm is... being sincere. I am sincere about my the whole Jewish thing. I am. Well, I know you are. That's the uh, most That's... offensive thing about it. <laughs> <laughs> But before we, before we go, I do want to read our email that we got from uh, Sarah E. I thought that, yeah, Dave, not so fast. We're, uh, she was nice enough to, to, to send us an email, and I'm going to read it for everybody. Uh, and she will uh, get, of course, get a bottle of Deacon Whiskey. Tastes like pancakes without the syrup, but with a little bit of syrup, Deacon Whiskey. Uh, and she's hug. Like a hug, liquid hug. And she says, hello, podcasters. Abstract. In this paper, I'll be explaining first why Dave is a bad host. Second, why Dave is a bad father. Yikes. And third, why he is a public menace. <laughs> wow. Sounds like she knows you. Where do I start? I don't know. <laughs> this podcast has caused me great distress in my emotional, physical, and spiritual life. One of your hosts, Dave Bunny Ears, has neglected his family to take on yet another podcast. He is now up to 17 and a half podcasts and has plans to start a, da my start a daily God. vlog about his interesting life, also in Bunny Ears, interesting life. Uh, what would be interesting is if he stopped being an absent father. <laughs> oh that, might be, that might be my favorite line in the whole thing. The tears falling on my keyboard are evidence of the emotional scars that have dug into my soul. Please, oh please, I beg of you, get Dave help. Tell him to call his wife, who has turned to the bottle to get over this hurt. And probably a bottle of Deacon Whiskey. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Deacon Whiskey, a hug in liquid form. Uh, and most of all, she goes on to say, and most of all, please send me a bottle of whiskey so I can label it dad and at least pretend I have a father figure. Because while I may have a father, I will never have a dad. This cannot be uh, more brilliantly written. Uh, sincerely disgruntled daughter, she calls herself. And she does say, just kidding, love you, Dad. But that seems to be in smaller uh, font, so I'm not going to really <laughs> account for that. Um, but yeah. thank you, Sarah E. What a wonderful, wonderful email. Uh, absolutely yeah. made our day when we saw that hit the inbox. So you will get a bottle of Deacon Whiskey. When you move to a remote Caribbean island by yourself, reach for Deacon Whiskey. <laughs> All right, any, any, any last words from either of you two before we cut this thing off? You guys are like the ocean for me. I never really want to go in. Um, just like I'm, I'm never that excited about doing these podcasts. But then once I'm in the ocean, I'm so happy. I feel so loved. And that's what happens whenever I see you guys. It's wow, all that's a, what almost a, a sweet sentiment. What a wonderful sentiment. I was about to yeah. say the same thing. Yeah, yeah. that was, that was, was very really nice. close. Yeah. All right, fellas. I think it's time to wrap it up. This was another great episode, episode 42.
two. And so uh, thanks for listening. And uh, Jackie Robinson, who else for you? Yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah, that. Jackie Robinson. That's probably the most famous forty-two there is. Actually, right? don't have forty-two. It's four. They don't have a number Jer- eight. Jerry Stackhouse. Jerry Stackhouse wore forty-two. <laughs> That's a good call. You're right. <laughs> he did. Uh, anyway, on that note. <laughs> Jerry Stankos kills every podcast. Yes, that's right. Thanks for listening, everybody. See ya. Bye, everybody. See you later. <laughs> <laughs>